In this lesson, let's explore several useful commands that will allow us to quickly navigate around the code base. So the main window that we can use to navigate around the code base is this global search window, which can be opened by pressing Shift twice. This window has several additional tabs. In the first tab, we can search for absolutely anything. And all other tabs are responsible for searching by using certain category, such as searching by file names or class names. So what I usually like to do is to provide quick access to each of those tabs by using keyboard shortcuts. And that is why I'm going to define several mappings in here. The first one will be responsible for opening up global search window with classes tab active. So I'm going to use space S C keyboard shortcut. And the action identifier in this case is called go to class. Let's source this configuration file and try this keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to press space S C, which by the way means search for classes. And right away the global search window has been opened with classes tab active and I can easily search for any class from here. Then I'm also going to define shortcut to search for files, meaning that when I will open up global search window, the file tab will be automatically active. So for this, I'm going to define another shortcut, which will be leader SF, which means search for files. The command identifier in this case is go to file. And of course, after sourcing new changes and pressing leader S, F, we can see that the global search window has been opened with files tab active and we can search for files right away. Next one, let's add a couple more shortcuts to quickly open up search panel to search for symbols as well as to search for actions. To search for symbols, I'm going to use space S S and to search for actions, I'm gonna use space S A, which means search for actions. And I try to choose such keys that can be pressed as easily as possible without having to move hands from the standard position for typing. And sure enough, if we're going to try those keyboard shortcuts, we can see that in the first case, when pressing space S S, we got search window with symbol tab active and when we press space S A, we'll get actions tab active. Now, a very common use case is to quickly navigate to the declaration of the certain element. For example, I'd like to quickly jump to the declaration of this base class. And to do this, I'm going to define another keyboard shortcut, which in my case will be space G D, which means go to declaration. And the command identifier is called go to declaration as well. Let's source new changes and try to press space G D while having our cursor on the particular element. And right away we can see that we have been jumped into the file where that element is defined. The same thing is going to work for types. Let's say I'd like to quickly open up definition of this channel type. And to do that, let's define another shortcut. I'm going to use sequence of keys space G Y. And when this sequence of keys will be pressed, it should activate the command called go to type declaration. So from now on, if I would like to quickly inspect certain type, all I have to do is to firstly position the cursor on that type and press sequence of keys space G Y and right away corresponding file with type definition has been opened. In a similar fashion, we can also go to certain implementations. So for example, if I have some base class, which is inherited by several other subclasses, and I'd like to know all the subclasses, I have to position the cursor on the base class name and then press keyboard shortcut that I'm going to define right now. So to quickly see all implementations of the base class, I'm going to use space G I, which means go to 
implementation. So after sourcing new settings, once I'm gonna position the cursor on top of the base class name and then I'll press space G I, I get such list with all the classes that inherit from this base class. And I just have to choose certain class from this list, press enter and that file will be opened. In JetBrains IDEs there is also a way to quickly switch between classes and its corresponding test classes. So I'm going to assign separate shortcut to do that. I'm going to use space GT, which means go to test. So it works in the following way. If I currently have my cursor positioned on top of the test class, and I would like to quickly navigate to the original class, I just have to press space GT. But if my cursor will be positioned on top of the original class already, when I'll press space GT, I'll be navigated to the corresponding test class. All right, let's add a couple more shortcuts. I'm going to use space GM to quickly go to super method, but it works not only for methods, but also for base classes, implemented interfaces and used traits. So to demonstrate this feature, I will firstly position my cursor on top of the class which implements interface as well as inherits from the base class and also has a couple of traits. And then if I'll press leader GM, we'll get such a list with all those classes that the current class is based on, including implemented interfaces, base class, as well as included traits. And then we will be able to quickly open up any file from this list. And finally, I'm going to add one more shortcut in this lesson, which will be responsible for navigating to a certain line. So once I'm going to press sequence of keys, leader G L, I will get such dialog where I can specify the line number where I'd like to navigate to, but not only line number, we can also specify colon number. And after pressing enter, I'll jump straight to that location. That's about it for this lesson. We have reviewed several useful keyboard shortcuts that are used to make us faster when navigating through our code base. Link to the repository with this configuration file will be in the video description.